r slash ask reddit asks gym goers of reddit what is something protocol etiquette tips etc that new year resolutioners should know about the gym don't start big just because your friends or everyone else is lifting big start small it'll be easier to maintain the routine and there's a much smaller chance you'll injure yourself good form and amp moderate weight and gt bad form and amp heavy weight this goes for a lot of things instead of posting inane rambling on reddit about how the guy has been hogging the bench for 45 minutes ask him if you can work in ramble online if he refuses if you need a piece of equipment ask the guy how long he needs it for because prompting him will let him know to tell you when it's free and hopefully stopping someone else from jumping in and snatching it when he's done if you need a spot ask someone nearby it's stupid to risk an injury when someone nearby can quickly lend a hand and more to this a spotter ideally only needs to take like 20 pounds off the bar for you to finish a lift the girls nearby can handle that so don't be afraid to ask literally anyone they don't need to be muscle monsters to help you representative a bench the gym is a personal space for a lot of people but you're still sharing it so talk to people if you need something don't hog the weights the most annoying thing someone can do is hog all the freaking weights and dumbbells and refuse to let others use them me and a friend were about to use a pull down machine some guy stopped us and wanted the attachment whatever we let him take it and we found a similar attachment this fucking asshole sat at his machine for 20 to 30 minutes doing fucking nothing on his phone we were long done our sets before he even used the attachment. Nobody cares what you look like at the gym. You shouldn't be discouraged by feelings that people are going to judge you for being too fat thin at the gym. The entire purpose of the place is to build a healthier body. If anything I always looked up to the really out of shape people who would come in and work out hard. It's incredibly motivating to see. Besides that, even if someone underscore does underscore judge you for being fat or skinny at the gym, their opinion probably isn't worth much if that's how they think. Picking on a fat person at the gym is like picking on a homeless person at a job fair. For the love of God, do not do your workout in front of the dumbbell rack. Please take your weights somewhere else so others can grab the weights they need. Edit. Spelling error. Blows my mind how many people do this. You would think it would be common sense. Actually read how to use the equipment. There are some long-time gym goers that need to do this, too. Don't lift in front of the DB racks. Move back two minutes. Put your weights back. Wear a deodorant. All rules can be summarized by, don't be a cunt. That's literally it. Also, nobody cares about you so don't go in there without any confidence. Everyone is so concerned about themselves and their own routine that you don't even figure, so don't sweat the pressure. If you're standing right in front of the dumbbell rack, expect others to retrieve and return their weights almost like you're not there. You'll get the idea that you're in the wrong spot soon enough. The really huge intimidating looking guy squanting half the plates in the gym is probably pretty friendly and the most likely guy to help you out and offer you good advice. Ignore everyone else. Leave no trace that you were ever there. Get some headphones. The best workout plan is the one you can stick to. There is no best exercise or best workout. Pick one that you think you'll enjoy and stick with it. For the first year 18 months, don't worry about the numbers, focus on your form.
Bicep curling 10 kg dumbbells with perfect form is much more useful than wildly swinging a 45 kg dumbbell around. That last point would have been massively useful for me when I tried to start using a gym about 8 years ago. Edit. As would of having friends who didn't brag about how much they could lift, which lowered my spirits because I couldn't do what they could. Wipe down the equipment when you are done. And probably before too. For the love of God, put weights back where you found them. If you're strong enough to lift them in the first place, you're strong enough to put them back. Edit. Thanks for doubling my upvotes. As many of you have said, this applies to all equipment, not just weights. And if something is obviously in the wrong place when you use it, find the right spot to put it back. Have a happy new year all. This is especially frustrating when it's someone putting heavy dumbbells in a light dumbbell spot. Chances are, you just screwed over the new person who isn't strong enough to lift your 75 pound dumbbells, and now they have no place to put their 10 pound dumbbells. This brings up more good advice, stay humble as you reach your goals. Be courteous to your peers. The absolute best tip is to just go. You get fit in the gym, you lose weight in the kitchen. Here's the big money man bringing the wisdom. Nobody is staring at you, and nobody cares that you are fat or ugly or out of shape. Do your routine with confidence. I'm afraid to bench press or to squats with heavier weight. I know I should have someone spot me in case of failure. But I always go to the gym alone and I'm a shy person. I can't always ask the gym staff to spot for me, because they're not always there. Is it acceptable to ask other people in the gym to spot me? Do not do curls, rows, or shrugs right in front of, on or even on, the dumbbell rack. That's a thoroughfare and people are trying to get to the equipment they want to use without your dumbass standing in the way. This is only an issue if you are blind and don't pay attention to your surroundings. I do this all the time but always pay attention to everyone around me and if they start walking up, I get out of their way to let them grab what they need. A lot of gyms offer complimentary training sessions when you sign up for a new membership. Take them up on their offer. Their trainer can show you how to use the equipment and give you a how to work out tutorial. My gym offered three free training sessions. The first one I used has a how to and the next two were intense workouts to see if I wanted to keep using a trainer. Mine was awesome. The guy gave me a second session free, helped me plan a workout routine. I used strong lifts instead, but it was nice of him to help and gave me his number and told me to text him if I had any questions. If you're on a cardio machine, e.g., treadmill, that has a posted time limit, make sure you're off it in less time than that, especially if the gym is crowded. Other people may be waiting for that machine even if they're not making it obvious by standing next to you. I've never seen a time limit at British gyms. But then again, most people seem to stay on for 5 to 20 minutes. At my university gym, no one seems to touch the rowing machine. What's the time limit at your gym? If you're coughing or sick, stay home. Actually this. Also chances are if you work out even more you'll just feel even worse. Came here to say this. We've got two brothers that will set up like a six-station circuit and lock down most essential pieces of equipment for over an hour. If you're a man, do not ogle women working out. I've literally had to scream at a man, What? What do you want? After he wouldn't stop staring at me for 15 to 20 minutes of my workout. What a weirdo, 
Why can't he be more like us respectful men and bounce our gaze through three different mirrors so we can safely look? Creeps Amy right? Wipe down equipment and re-rack your weights. Set timers for breaks to keep you on point instead of browsing here, preventing you from taking up equipment for potentially twice as long. Leave your ego at the door. As others said, start light and work on form. Strength will come with proper form, and it will prevent injuries. Realize that it's a lot more commendable for an overweight person to go to the gym than that buff dude that lives there. Doing things you are good at is easy. Walking into a room and being the worst at something is highly respectable. If people are annoyed by you, they suck at life. The ones that don't suck at life respect you. Also, if you are in the gym as an overweight person, you are probably inspiration for people. If you can do it carrying more weight, maybe I can too. Get on a program and stick with it. Don't try to do too much. Don't kill yourself your first two weeks and end up being sore and miserable to the point of quitting. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Unless you're sprinting. Those of us that are there frequently know who puts the work in. You could be fat, skinny, fast, slow, or anywhere in between. If you work hard, people will notice, and they'll respect you for it. Love this one. People should go often enough that they recognize everyone else who goes often enough. Real recognize real. Please don't stare at or approach women. It's not real life Tinder we really are there to work out, and not to be harassed by you. I intentionally look really pissed off so nobody of any gender approaches me. Don't be an ego lifter. Putting on too much weight, screaming while you lift, then letting the weight crash back down, all to draw attention to yourself. If you can't set the weight down in a controlled manner, it's too heavy for you. You'll just end up hurting yourself, hurting someone else, or damaging the equipment. Edit. Some have pointed that grunting can't be helped when lifting heavy. While I agree, there is a point where it becomes excessive. There are subtle levels of this and you can tell when someone is grunting loudly enough for the whole gym to hear it just to draw attention. As for dropping weights. I'd like to clarify that I'm mainly speaking of the machines with stacked weights. Every time I hear that sound, it goes right through me. I've seen people break the weights by letting them slam after a set. Although I have seen people throw free weights and that is what can hurt other people. Don't blow dry your nuts with the communal hair dryer. The amount of old men blow drying their balls in just obscene. The only reason anyone would give any thought to the weight you're lifting is if you're lifting too much. People who actually lift can tell when you're lifting too much and respect a man who lifts an appropriate weight with good form. Form is way more important than how much weight you can do. Also don't care what anyone else thinks. Noon is judging you. We will judge you if you try to show off by using heavier weights and do the exercises wrong, but we will not tell you. If the thing holding you back from taking the first step is worrying what others think, keep in mind that nobody really cares, and that everyone is there for the same reason. Strangers only really interact if they are asking how many more sets someone has, or if they ask someone to spot them. I've never had the confidence to do the second one, hence me staying away from barbells. Trust me, don't be shy about asking for a spot. As somebody else has already accurately pointed out, 95% of people would be more than happy to spot you. Just watch a couple of their rest periods so you know they have enough time to spare. 
One thing I will say is that there's nuance to this. If you see your buddy at the gym, it's usually fine to check in and chat a little in between exercises. Obviously not when they're in the middle of something. Just know the social cues, usually it's pretty obvious when they're cool with talking or when they're trying to get back to their workout. New Year's is the absolute worst time to start a fitness routine, statistically. Something like 92% of people fail by February. Wait until March to start. Also, don't have reward mentality. It took me years to quit smoking. When I finally quit the reward mentality, I was able to cold turkey last January and haven't had to slip since. My health insurance covers gyms this year so I'll be filing in with the herd. I'm excited to see what I can do for myself. You just reminded me of why I hate the concept of New Year's resolutions. So many unmotivated fucks who refuse to acknowledge that you can get a killer workout in just 10 to 20 minutes. Fitness has never been glamorous, despite what Instagram would have you believe. Not enough time, my ass. The only excuse is injury or other health complications that I can think of. Re-rack your weights. Don't stare at your phone when you're on the bench or a machine. Most of all, you're at the gym for yourself. No one cares how much you can or cannot lift. Do what you're physically comfortable with. Check your ego at the door. Looking at phone between sets is fine. Most PPL use phone to time rest or log their lifts and apps. What PPL do between sets is their business. Don't bring your own Bluetooth speaker and play the music as loud as you want while also singing along. It is infuriating that this even needs to be said. Let's go one step further. Do not take a Bluetooth speaker out in public ever. This includes public transportation, hiking trails, sidewalks, etc. Soreness is not indicative of progress. After a while of going to the gym, you will get less and less sore. I haven't been sore in years, unless I take time off then come back or do something dramatically different than normal. A lack of soreness doesn't mean you're wasting your time. Don't quit if this happens. Just keep chugging along and congrats on getting this far. Please 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 stay off your phone while using a piece of equipment. Many of us are there to do our routine and when you are standing there taking selfies in the mirror in front of the squat rack it is infuriating. Use the equine and move on. Take selfies later. Please don't stare at the girl or guy you find attractive. It's weird. Please don't go up to them while they're working out. It's rude. Nobody fucking cares if you are new seriously though. The stereotype that gyms are tough to new people is completely false. It was created by Planet Fitness who intimidate new gym goers into going to Planet Fitness which is where dreams go to die. Maybe there will be people that are assholes to new people but they are very uncommon and deserve no attention. A couple of months ago an old guy in the changing room legit put his shirt, jumper, and winter coat on before his underwear. I swear he just wanted to expose himself for as long as possible. Why is it the older you are, the more likely it is you are gonna go stark ball lock even when there's an area in the shower for you to undress and hang your clothes. I'm going to go ahead and throw this out there, too, because so many people don't seem to think this one thing is rude as fuck. Stop taking pictures of yourself in the fucking locker room people are trying to change their clothes, and shower, and do what people do in locker rooms. I think your membership should be revoked immediately for opening your camera in the locker room. As a female, don't talk to me. I have my earbuds in, I'm sweaty af, I'm here to exercise. Do not try to fucking talk to me. 
Also don't take the treadmill next to me when there's 500 empty ones. If you do this, I hate you. This might be bad advice. You will see dramatic results in the first four months while you get to enjoy those sweet sweet new gains. Consistency is key. Find a good program like a starter's 5x5 in the wiki of our fitness. Do not be afraid to ask for a spot or help. Most people in gym are really friendly and will help you as long as you're not being very intrusive. Use one piece at a time. Don't be in the gym doing supersets on three pieces of equipment during peak hours. Also, wipe down the equipment after you use it you sweaty bastard. Freaking hate this. Someone will be super sets on equipment from across the gym and then come sprinting at me like I'm supposed to know he's using it. It's awkward at times for everybody, even if they've been going for a while. Nobody is going to judge you for working out and people are usually very helpful to explain equipment or give you a spot if needed. Just get started and you'll start to get more and more comfortable with going. The best time of day to work out is in the morning. If you can't do that, then the second best time to work out is the same time of day every time. If you can't do that, then the third best time to work out is regularly. The last best time to work out is literally any time you can make time for the gym. No one cares what you are doing or how you look like. As long as you are dressed appropriately and you are not an ass, you will do fine. Don't drop the damn bar when you're doing deadlifts. When I'm sprinting on a treadmill, hearing all of your weights crash to the ground is distracting as fuck, and if I have even a minor trip up because the sound was unexpected and scared the shit out of me, I could easily wipe out at full speed. If you can't put the weight down quietly, then you're not lifting it right, it you're using too much. Try avoiding counting how long you have been going or how many days in a row you worked out. Count up your workouts. That way when life happens and you don't go for a while. You won't think you are starting over. You just add on to whatever number you left off on. I am doing this now. Never did this before. I am currently on 42 workouts since I started. I see 50 in the future so it motivates me to get back in after the few days off I had from Christmas party hangovers. I think this is going to work. Check back with me in a year. Gyms should really give an intro to etiquette when you join. It's hard for people to figure it out themselves in gen when half the gym is also new and has no idea what to do. Small tip that really helps me, my workouts always start off on a better foot when I'm wearing clothes that I like. Gyms are full of mirrors, and when I catch a glance of myself and I'm like, hey you cute thing in your outfit looking like you could take on the world, I tend to perform better. I'm not saying to go out and blow your whole paycheck on gym clothes but, like... Go to TJ Maxx and get some discount workout gear that makes you excited to wear your favorite shirt. My workouts and my favorite outfit always go better. For the love of God, clean up after yourselves and stop body shaming people who are trying to better their own self-image.